Gary, I sent you the document. Get involved in this. Okay, I didn't see it. I looked for it. I didn't see it. I just, I just sent it about five minutes ago. Well, that's why I didn't see it when I looked for it. <laughs> Thank you. This is why we're all live right now. All our pastors from Facebook. What did the pastor say? We're all live on all our platforms. You can't do no more trash talking? Hey, that's what I'm saying. Oh, man. Hallelujah. 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 Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, 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 Good <laughs> oh Lord! What, what kind of? What kind of? What kind of? This is not good. You have been worship too. Worship, worship, worship. Yeah. Concert. Reverend Williams, watch the pastor, sir. Watch the pastor. Okay. What, happened, what happened to Play the, the music, sir? Play the music. What happened Play to it. the gospel concert? I'll adjust. Play it. Finish that. Finish that praise. I'm looking at a generation who knows how good he is. Turn it down, down slowly. Come on, we're gonna give our praise tonight. Come on. Let's lift up our Savior. Let's lift up our sovereign God. Let's lift up Yahweh, Jehovah, the Lord our God, Elohim. Amen. Let's let's give him the high praise that's due to his holy name, uh, for he is great, greatly to be praised. Second Chronicles chapter 5, verse 11. This should sound familiar to you. And it came to pass. Matter of fact, just unmute the folks so we can hear everybody give God praise. Just one time, Reverend Williams. We, we taking a chance here. Let's yeah. say it. Come All on. Right. 
I'll get control. Oh, yeah. Praise our God. Praise our God. All right. Listen what the scripture yeah. says. Thank you, Reverend uh, Williams. Amen. He's on the Amen. swivel tonight. He is running air traffic control for us tonight. All right. Um, Put this on me, Rev. Put this on me, Rev. Put this on me, Rev. Everybody. Put this on me, Rev. Everybody. Thank you. All right. Second Chronicles chapter 5. And it came to pass when the priests were come out of the holy place, all the priests uh, that were pr uh, present were sanctified and did not then wait by course. Also, the Levites, which were the singers, all of them, Asaph, Heman, of Juduthan, and with their sons and their brethren, being arrayed in white linen, having cymbals and psalteries and harps, stood at the east end of the, at the altar, and with them, 120 priests, sounding with trumpets. It came even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, again, as the trumpeters and the singers were how? As one. To make what? One sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud. Good God today. The house was what? Filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God, the word of God for the people of God. Can we amen, just celebrate amen. the glory of God, the cloud of his presence? Amen. The scripture says that when they were one, when they came together, one sound, one praise, God was lifted and there was so much glory. There was such a heaviness of the Shekinah presence of the Lord that Robert Young could not preach, that Deacon Gary could not pray, that the dancers could not dance. Amen, amen. I know we would think that to be an unsuccessful service, but if the presence of the Lord is there, amen. then we have met our agenda, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We ask and pray, Father in Jesus' name, thank you God for this virtual assembly of your disciples, of your learners, of your followers, those who are seeking you. Amen. Your word says, if we seek you, God, uh, that, you, that we shall be filled, that we thirst after righteousness, we shall be filled. So tonight, one more time, once again, we have taken out a few moments uh, to be with you, to be together, to be in Koinonia, to assemble, to follow your word, to study the apostles' doctrine, even to fellowship by way of electronic space. We pray for no glitches. We pray for no tech issues. We ask that all be blessed tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If God's Amen. been good to you the past seven days, give him a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Past seven days. Amen. Thank you for your prayers. Many of you I've spoke to and, and shared with you. Uh, God has brought you out Ooh. even this week. Don't forget, uh, we are in the midst of our, what I'm calling is a quick turnover but our Together Again fast, where you have committed to, to remove one food item from your daily intake. And as you read the two scriptures, amen, First Chronicles chapter 16 and Second Chronicles chapter 5. For what? So that we are prepared for re-entry. Amen. The building is prepared. Now we need the people to be prepared. Amen. Uh, uh, the, 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 the space is prepared but we need our spirits to be prepared. It's been a year and a half, I assume. So I'm just, you know, uh, approximately, and, and, and some of us, not all, but some of us uh, have not been into, um, into the actual building. And so we are praying uh, that God would flush us, that God would, amen, that as we talked about Pentecost, that God would fill this house, fill this house. And so that when we get to the physical structure of the edifice, Amen. That we are ready uh, to to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Amen. How many of you are excited? You're ready. You are. You, you wish it was Sunday. Amen. Saturday night will, will feel like Christmas Eve. Amen. <laughs> Saturday night will feel like Christmas Eve. 
And so we are busy, 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 busy. All throughout the church, every day, all day, just getting things. We are like the Levites preparing the temple for worship. We are the Levites preparing the temple uh, for worship. Right into tonight's study. Let's jump right into it. Uh, jump right into it. Uh, amen. Reverend Williams, if you would be so kind. All right. Tonight's study. Life lessons from Acts. This is lesson three. Lesson three, tried and tested. Tried and tested. Tried and tested. Tried and tested. Um, based on Acts um, chapter three, verse number uh, six. Tried and tested. All right, make sure we're, we're there together. Can someone please tell me what, what do you see on the screen? And no, that's not your your, your grandfather's Buick. The Honda. That's a Honda Civic. A new that's a Honda Civic. That's a Honda Civic hatchback. Right, that's a Honda Civic. That's Honda, Honda Civic, Civic hatchback, four door sedan. <laughs> my man, my man, sound like a dealer right there, baby. He sounds like, hey, "Amen." Wait a minute, I think, I think I had the wrong scripture on it tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, um, that was last week's. That was last week's. Uh oh. But the lesson is right because I did that. Say amen. 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 The lesson amen. is right. Amen. <laughs> five twenty nine thirty. Thank you. It is five twenty nine and thirty. Yes, five twenty nine and thirty. That's the the focal text. Uh, but that is a Honda Civic, and I did some research, and as of uh, today, based off of some or most credible agencies, it is the safest uh, sedan for its size. It is the safest. It is the safest. Um, and it, is, it, is, it has been certified as the safest because why? It has been what? Tried and tested. Uh, the way they test safety is not by putting the car in a harmless environment. The way they test safety is by putting the car in harm's way and seeing how much it protects what's on the inside. Uh, and funny how they test the safety and yeah, they test the safety and the strength of a car based on how much it can endure, how much impact it can take. Uh, and um, how many out there can raise your hands and, and say sometimes in life, God will test you that way, uh, that it is not always a comfortable, easy, like Sunday morning ride. There are times in our spiritual growth and development of what's called in the academy in our spiritual direction uh, that, that God will send impacts uh, to test the durability of our fender, of our rear, of our exterior, amen, from front to back, inside, uh, and, I, and, you know, what the Acts of the Apostle teaches are many lessons, and, and I'll get into it, but uh, one of the main takeaways uh, from today's lesson about being tried and tested, being tried and tested, is that um, you're under duress, you're under stress, you're under pressure, you're under deadlines, amen, you're under uh, um, quick turnarounds. When they test the cars, the cars are not going five miles an hour, uh, Brother Campbell, I mean, they're going at full speed, full speed to see how much uh, they can take. And I just want to celebrate you here, even early in the lesson, even early in the lesson, that you have survived some impacts in your life, and you have survived, you are still rolling, you are still, amen, cruising, you are still here, uh, but you have been tested. Amen. That's why some of you uh, can can give God praise and, and also warn some people and tell them, amen, I've been tested, so don't test me. Come on, somebody. <laughs> amen. Did I just give you something? Did I give you something quick right there? Uh, I've been tested. Amen. So, amen. So don't test me. So we got some Honda Civics in here. All right. That's our uh, illustration. Let's move uh, on. So tried, tried, and tested. Um, I, I had to 
I had to um, gain, get, grab strength from from um, our sister, from our sister uh, Maya Angelou, and I want to just read um, an excerpt from from uh, her famed poem "Still I Rise." Um, as you see there, I have a bold black sister right there, uh, wrapped wrapped in the lyrics of that uh, poem. And it just says this, did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops weakened by my soulful cries? Uh, then it goes on to say, you may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still like air, I'll rise. Amen. Then she goes on to say uh, that out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling. I bear in the tide, leaving behind nights of terror and fear. I rise by right, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. This famous strophe right here. I am the dream and the hope of the slave, what? I rise, I rise, I rise. Uh, and you can you, you rise because you've been put down. And so it is that that correlation between that, that tried, tested, having to rise that we see in this week's uh, saga. Again, the apostles now are on this side of resurrection, this side of Pentecost, this side of the inaugural sermon of Peter, of the uh, uh, conversion of 3,000 and disciples have been multiplied. We're now in chapter five. Uh, and now we're starting to, to see the early unearthing or the early emergence of persecution, all right? Y'all stay with me. Don't go to sleep tonight. Say amen, all right? The, uh, of early church Christian uh, persecution. And in today's lesson, the reflection that Jesus said that his followers would experience Tough times. I need to put that into your, and, and I need to put, let me text that to you. Let me put that in your phone. Let me put that in your spirit. Um, let me just send you that facsimile that Jesus said his followers would what experience tough times. That if they hated me, he said, they'll hate you too. I'll say it again. If they hated me, they'll hate you too. Strong words, they evoke strong feelings. Uh, no one wants to be hated. We live in a culture that wants to be what? Celebrated, that wants to be acclaimed, that wants to be affirmed, amen, that wants to be included. Nobody wants to be out. Everyone wants to be in. He said, if they hated me, they'll hate you. Jesus makes it so extreme that, that he forces you to make a hard decision, amen, about being bold and being out there about your faith is not easy. Brothers and sisters in this social media culture, you go ahead, I dare you try it. If you put, if you if you post something, you know, negative or controversial, you know, uh, or something sketchy, you know, or, or something edgy, amen. If you just want some likes, put something negative out there, put something crazy and bizarre out there. You'll get 300 likes, 400 likes, amen. But if you post a scripture, you might get one like, and that one like is your spouse. <laughs> Amen. Put something edifying. Put something biblically based uh, on that. You might get one or, or, or two likes because, Amen. Being bold with your faith is not easy. You will be confronted. You will be challenged. They will attempt to discredit you. They will attempt to discourage you. They will attempt, Amen, to 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 argue the inauthenticity or the errancy of your faith. They will try to tell you that, amen, it is Euro, that it is not from Africa, even though all the Bible, amen, is centralized in, in the African diaspora. They will tell you anything because they hate the boldness of your faith. But remember, Jesus came as a radical, <laughs> as a radical prophetic agitator. He says agitators and aggravators radically, they will be hated. 
Amen. He can't hide this under a bushel. You will be tested and you will be tried. And in this Acts chapter 5, the religious establishment, the religious establishment, right, the powerful institution that has had a clutch and had a grip, a chokehold. This, we'll talk about them, this Sanhedrin, this council had a chokehold on the religious practices of, of Jews, amen, and they had ostracized Gentiles. And so that this Christianity is now a threat to their control, to their religious manipulation. This Christianity is not, uh, amen, committed to old things. And this Christianity is about freedom. It's about justice. It's about whosoever will. Amen. You can't control people when they are free. Somebody type in the comments, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. I wish I could see your face. But keep that, keep this the slides up, Reverend. Uh, I'm I'm free. And so, and so the religious establishment, and we'll talk about the deep rootedness of their corruption, how they were co-op by 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 Roman government, by Roman economy, by Roman commerce that the Romans gave the religious establishment property and gave them resources to control them. And, and the Roman government and the Roman mercenaries expected the Jewish leaders to keep their followers in check. And when they couldn't keep them in check, y'all, then they tried to kill them. And we'll see that um, they decided to try the intimidation tactics and to, to silence uh, this most prominent spreading about uh, the, the news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to put this in, in the lesson. It wasn't in my notes, but it's in my spirit. Amen. Amen. That persecution leads to multiplication. i say it again. Persecution leads to multiplication. That the Christian faith, amen, spread, went viral, went global. Amen. Because they were persecuted that God used the pandemic of persecution to spread the gospel beyond the hub or the Mecca of Jerusalem or the Mecca of 3200 Garrison. Are you catching what I'm throwing tonight? How many give God praise that he knows how to utilize persecution for your multiplication, that God will grow you even though it hurts you? Woo. I'm trying to get all right. Y'all, y'all not feeling fast tonight. Hey, Amen. Y'all have y'all have a head to get your late night uh, uh, coffee, your espresso bean. Somebody get, get a chocolate espresso bean. W wave your hands if you've seen God strengthen you. You were strengthened even though you were you were stricken. Right, right. This is grown folks' gospel. I need you to put that in the comments, Sister Allen. This is grown folks' gospel. This is grown folks gospel. And I'm so glad we are returning back to Konania and assembly and fellowship at this time of a pandemic was going on because we are reminded that, that Christianity is grown folks gospel, that you're going to have to learn how to, how to live with struggle and pain, but knowing that God gives us hope and strength to make it day to day. We've come this far by faith. I'm just teaching. I'm not preaching. We've come this far by faith. Okay, so next slide, remember, you have to, you have to help me now. Yeah, this is grown folks gospel. Amen. Wave your hand if you know about grown folks, if you know about persecution, right? How many of you have ever been in the hospital but believe in God to heal you? That's grown folk gospel. Amen. That's that's when you have taken your you have taken your faith all the way to the edge. <laughs> Hallelujah. I had, let me not, let me not go on, Brother Campbell, because you popped up on the screen again. How many of you have seen, how many of you have, you surprised yourself? You shock yourself by what you survived, what kind of persecution you survived, that your head should have exploded from horror and misery. Amen. But praise God, you made it. So here it is. Here's some history. All right, I'm getting, let me give you some information with this inspiration. All right, let me provide you with some history. That, that, so, you know, Pastor Pastor did his research. I did my action research. I did my analysis. 
All right. So persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire. Here it goes. So this is what I need. All right. Since I can see, I'm only doing this because I can see you, Mother Wiggins. Can you read for me uh, those bullets? Can you? Okay. The persecution. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. No. Okay. The persecution of Christian occurred throughout most of the Roman Empire history, beginning in the first century AD. Originally, a what's that? Polytheistic, many gods. Uh -huh. Okay. Empire in the tradition of Roman paganism and the hellious religious as Christianity spread through the um, empire. It came into an idolatry. Mm. Yep. yep. Conflicts with the imperial cult of ancient Rome. Uh, pagan practice such as making sacrifices to the defied emperor or uh, other gods were adhered to Christian as their belief prohibited idolatry. The state All right. of the oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I could see Deacon Marcel. Could you read for me that last bullet? I'm just going through randomly. Same. State and other members of civic society punished Christians for treason, various rumored crimes, illegal assembly, and for introducing an alien cult that led to Roman apostasy. Next slide, Brother Spirey, if you catch the next one. So here's persecution, right, of the Christians in the Roman Empire. This is important history uh, to put on top of today's uh, lesson. And then also, uh, Reverend Williams or Sister Crystal, if you would give me, like in 10 minutes, just let me know what, just give me a countdown, a 10 minute countdown for now, because I'm gonna split us up in groups, okay? Brother Spivey? Come off mute now. Are you not in the car, are you? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in my truck. But, oh, oh, uh, oh, Lord, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not driving though. Okay. But I, I don't see it on the screen though, the second one. Okay. Read, read, read for me the first two causes. Okay. The uh, idealistic conflict, uh, Erdogan uh, Gank uh, Cranin described the uh, uh, ideological, ideological mm -hmm. uh, conflict as the absolution. Christian slash uh, with season claim, uh, claimed to his own exclusion solving. All right, go on mute, Brother Spivey, because I'm getting some feedback from you. So let me, let me read it again. Thank you. So one, one cause, the reason why, one cause of the persecution is that there was saints, uh, ideological conflict. And the, the, the scholar Earl uh, Carnes describes the conflict as this, that the exclusive sovereignty of Christ clash with Caesar's claim. Caesar claimed himself to be sovereign. So there was a clash there, which led to persecution. Then also the privatizing of Christianity, that Christians move their activities from the streets, right, to more what secluded domains, to houses that we'll see throughout the book of Acts. They moved it to houses, amen. And so when they moved it to more secluded meetings, um, then, the normal ties between religion, tradition, and public space, that aroused some local suspicion, right? Because they were seen to be sneaky or hiding, amen, or doing some covert activity. This is all brand new to the area. Then the inclusivity aspect, that early Christian communities were highly inclusive in terms of social stratification. In other words, Christians, that, that Christianity became disruptive. Somebody say disruptive. It became disruptive and a, and a competitive menace because in Roman society, they had gender laws and tradition laws where you couldn't co-mingle. But Christianity said, whosoever will. Christianity used nomenclatures like brother and sister, which was a no-no in, in that kind of caste system in the Roman empire. Then there was the exclusivity part or that Christianities was seen to be exclusive because they required you know, a high sacrifice that Christians set aside their former lives for their faith. Like, like Jesus said, renouncing their family and their country. If any man must follow me, he must do what? Deny himself, right? 
So, so they were seen as exclusive. They were even seen as extreme. Early on, they were seen uh, as, as a cult. And folks were apprehensive of them. What kind of God requires this kind of sacrifice and is not visible, right? Also, persecution came because Christians rejected paganism, right? Pagans believed that God's little G.O.D.s, because the, the little G.O.D.s were not revered by Christians, the disasters, the natural disasters that happened in Rome, Romans said it's the Christians' fault because they are not appeasing the gods. And so they, the, 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 the logic was, if we persecute or kill the Christians, then the gods will be appeased and the disasters will end, right? Ooh, ooh, I see, oh, I see some connections here. I wait to my next slide. But that's what happened 100 years ago there in Tulsa. Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that, that the extremists, the white supremacists, the racists said, listen, we are poor. We don't have our own economy. You know, it's not the land's fault. It's not nature's fault. It's, it's the successful Negroes' fault. So if we kill these successful Negroes in Greenwood and Black Wall Street, we kill them, then that will solve our problems. Do you see the mentality of persecution? Did I make it real? Did, did I make it real? Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. you. I had it on the next slide, but I couldn't hold it back. I couldn't hold it back. Um, and so that whole warped mentality, amen, and then the justification of it to, to, to declare that a higher being, a higher authority, God, a deity is leading you to destroy, to annihilate a people to make your life better. That is the mindset of war. That's warfare. That's imperialism. That's colonialism. Amen. Okay. I don't want to. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Lord. And then, <laughs> so they said, away with the Christians, send them to the lions. Right. And then also, lastly, they had, they had this conflict began because of Roman identity. Thank you, Crystal. That the Christians' uh, refusal, let me see my, okay. All right, let me close it out. The Christians' refusal to sacrifice the Roman gods was seen as an act of defiance against the culture, against the political structure, against the very nature of Rome. And they could not afford any public insurgency. They could not afford any public um, you know, disregard or disrespect because they had to control them. It was all about control. The power base needs to control the underclass. Amen. Th thank you. There, there it is. <laughs> the triple K, right? The power structure needs to control Amen. The oppressed, the underclass, to maintain the power. If the if the oppressed ever get into power, then they must be they must be destroyed. Thus, <laughs> you know, thus seizing of the capital. Thus, all of the white rage after Obama. And I know I'm going back. You know, the white rage after President Obama was elected. Because why? How did one of the slaves? How did one of the oppressed? get to the highest seat in the land. This can, can never happen again. We must, we must uproot the whole system. Amen, we must, amen, we must radicalize the Republican party. We must radicalize uh, um, right-wingism. We must radicalize the alt-right. Amen, we, we, must, we must form a new Jim Crow, amen. And, and then all of a sudden when Biden gets in, oh no, we must now uh, suppress the vote. Let's take it back to 1869. How many of you know that we have to pray because, amen, persecution, the, 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 yeah, the nature of persecution still lurks in the land today. It's still lurking, all right? Next slide, I, my, my, my time keeping. So, and so in our text, what happens? Uh, you read it, I, I don't wanna have to read it today because I'm singing some groups, but what happens is that uh, there's anger, there's anger in, in chapter five, Verse 17, the high priest, I read in the NIV, the high priest and all the associates who were members of the party of the Sadducees, they were filled with jealousy, the scripture says. They were jealous. They were jealous. Amen. They were jealous of Peter. Uh, amen. And, 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 and John. And so they arrested the apostles. They put them in jail. Amen. Annas, Caiaphas, who, Caiaphas, who was officiating who was a part of the Jesus proceedings. They were filled with envy. They arrested the apostles, amen. And so and we know what happens, the miracle, 
But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. And, and he said, the angel instructs them, go stand in the temple courts, he said, and tell the people all about this new life. Amen. So the angel of the Lord appears to them and, 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 and that messenger tells them where to go. One uh, theme or one thing that is very prevalent in the Acts of the Apostles is angelic intervention, angelic instruction, amen, heavenly assistance. Ah, uh, don't make me, don't, don't make me park my, don't make me park my car there. Angelic intervention, instruction, and assistance is regularly featured in Acts that we see, we see God dispatching heavenly intervention in the lives of disciples to save them and to preserve them to fulfill their assignment. I want to suggest as a real life point, as a real life practical life lesson, wave your hands if you know for sure that God sent angelic messengers to intervene for you, to instruct you, to assist you, praise the Lord, to amen, all night and all day. <laughs> yeah. Angels have watched over us. Angels have guided us. Angels have guarded us, have intervened for us. And the scripture says in verse um, 21, at daybreak, these, these um, religious elite, they come to the court. Are you with me? And they, they, they're told, you know, they're preaching. And when the high priest arrived, they called together the Sanhedrin. Verse 22, they went to jail. Amen. But they weren't there, did not find the apostles there. They went back and reported. We found the jail securely locked, the guards at the doors. Verse 24, when they heard the report, the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests were at a loss for words. Verse 25, and someone came and said, look, the men you put in jail are standing in the temple courts teaching the people. Amen. Scripture says, and the captain went with his officers. They brought the apostles. And here it is, verse 27. Amen. I got more time. Give me three more minutes. <laughs> the apostles were brought in and made to appear before the Sanhedrin. Here goes the tested. Here goes the tried. Here's what we're going to. They say to them, Sanhedrin says to the disciples, right? The haters say to the disciples, the apostles, we gave you what? Strict orders. Don't teach in his name. You, you, you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching. You're determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. Peter and the other apostles replied, we must obey God rather than human beings. Somebody type in the comments, I must obey God. Next slide, uh, Reverend Williams. I must obey God. When you're test and you're tried, you must obey God, even if they try to choke, even if they try to whitewash, I must obey. Look at this powerful witness right here, this sister right here, amen. She was one of the survivors, one of the survivors of the Tulsa attack. If you know her name, I type her name in there. Her and her brother, amen. Uh, she is, I believe, a hundred and, and, and I must obey her, amen. A hundred and eight years old. She was a little girl. Amen. Uh, during the Tulsa massacre, her mother didn't make it, but her mother told her to run as fast as she can, as far as you can. And she, the point is this, over the years, they've tried to whitewash and tried to say it didn't happen. Matter of fact, so much so that there was a newspaper report the, the, the day of the massacre saying that two white people were killed in a race riot. Not that the black people were entrapped, were attacked, were bombed. No, 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 no. Amen. So here it is, a tried and true witness of the persecution has survived to tell the truth. That's to me powerful. We ought to give God praise for that. We ought to give God praise for that. Amen. That someone who was there says, oh, no, 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 you can't make me doubt him. I will not allow you. Amen. I will not allow you to redact, to rewrite, or to erase, or to eradicate what really happened. And, they, and so same thing, with, so when the Sanhedrin says, didn't we tell you not to say nothing? They looked at them and said, we will obey God. We will tell what we have seen, what we have heard. The one whom you killed 
God raised him from the dead. Amen. Next slide. I'm going to put y'all in groups. All right. Okay. Hallelujah. All three of those witnesses. Let me see that comment. Think of myself. Right. Alive and coherent. Alive and coherent. In groups for for 10 minutes, and we'll come back and talk about this. Matter of fact, why don't you uh thank you, thank you, thank you. My time is up. Good. So I want us to go in groups, and I just want you to talk about in your groups, I want you to talk about the importance of being tested and tried as a witness of the Lord. Just being tested and tried. Trials and tribulations make you a credible and believable witness. Here's the question. Have you been tested? Have you been tried? All right. Reverend Williams, break us up in groups, and I'm going to float around. Robin Williams, did you put a time on the groups? I did start a timer. I was going to bring everybody back around 7.50 so it would be time to discuss. Yep, that's the time I have for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay.
Reverend, are you here with me? Yes, I am, sir. Uh, okay, um, because I got a fresh inspiration. Uh, I'm going to give them five more minutes. Okay. But I want them to discuss uh, Job chapter 23. Okay. Um, and let's see. Twenty-three verses eight through ten. Eight through ten. Okay. I'm gonna send a broadcast to all of the rooms. Job chapter twenty-three, uh, verses eight through ten. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want them to have a discussion around that because that leads into this next slide. Okay. Oh, you know what? Are you still there? I'm still here. Did you send the assignment yet? No, I just was getting ready to send it. Verses, well, because it's really one through 10. Uh, okay, so I'm changing it to one through 10. Job 23, one through 10. Uh, no, I keep it eight to 10 because we only got 10 minutes. <laughs> eight to 10. I'm sorry, to my original thought. Five minutes, Job 23, verse eight through 10. Okay. All right. Got it. Less has been powerful, Pastor. Listen, I want to jump. I want to jump through the screen. <laughs> it's, it, it's been so I gotta remember. Hey, I'm tech. I got. I know. You know. I, you know. I've been doing maximum effort over here too, man. Uh, I I can tell. Maximum effort. The, the, the so on point, so live, so touching all of our lives. My God. Mm, 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 mm. And then let me see who is still in here with us. Sister Diane's Hope, and there's an iPad. Yeah, there's a couple people that did not join. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me, let, me, let me float around, make sure they, they have their new assignments. Okay. Our uh, Sister Allen, Deacon Ms. Allen, I saw you pop in here. Yeah, I am here. <laughs>
All right, coming back, Pastor. All right, 10 4. 10 4. Come on, Saints. We're, we're concluding just a few. Return back to the main room. Let me grab the old Sunday school, old Sunday school xylophone. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> or in some of the southern churches where the weather was nice, the young people had Sunday school outside in the field. And so they would have to ring the bell. What's up? <clears throat> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul. All is within me. Bless his holy name. You all. Um, Job, you think of Job, and I know it's an Old Testament reference, but um, there, there are thematic threadings and connections. Um, and Job said, I'm looking all over, trying to find relief, trying to find um, God to take me out of this situation. Um, and Job says, and many of you discussed it, and I'm not, uh, I'm just really trying to put a cap on it. He says that the omniscient God, the omniscient creator of all, um, he knows the way I take, he, he knows, he knows my way. People of the way, that should bring you a flood rush of peace, that God knows the way you take, he knows where you are going. He has ordered your steps. He has ordered your steps. He has, he has chartered your path, that your course has been predetermined by the favor of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the apostles, you know, they may not have understood at the time, but God was using them in this persecution and in, in these fiery encounters and these um, uh, near death and eventually um, martyrdom uh, so that the kingdom would come out as pure gold. When he has tried me, that's when I'll come as pure gold. This imagery here of the blacksmith, of course, up top, everyone wants to start start at the top, shining, mm -hmm. flawless, sharp, you know, um, radiant, uh, piercing. You know, but that's the finished product. That's what happens after uh, God melts you down and, and then de deforms you and then reforms you uh, and, and then pounds you in heat. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and, and, and the anvil time cannot be avoided. A dull axe or a dull instrument needs attention and, and so do we. And, and that whole aspect of the sword Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than what any double-edged sword, penetrating, avoiding, uh, even dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. Amen. It, it judges thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And here it is. This is what I wanted to close with this, that on God's anvil, as he pounds us and as he heats us up, right, his word is sharpened in us. His word is sharpened in us, tried and tested. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to listen. You're on a fast. We're on a solemn assembly. This word may be prophetic for someone in their life. Maybe you have been tried Monday and Tuesday. Maybe you'll be tried Thursday and Friday. <laughs> Amen. Maybe we'll be tried on Sunday when we re-enter. Come on, somebody. <laughs> somebody going to try us. Or, 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 or test, amen, or as um, Sister Anderson so eloquently uh, and heartfelt stated, sometimes people will, you know, will, seek to, will seek your realness if in fact you are this bold and true witness 
or are you just, or are you perpetrating, or are you just trying to be a part of the social church class? There's a difference between being a part of the social church class and being a Christian, a part of the kingdom, because we are sold out. I need somebody to type that in the comments. We are sold out. There is no turning back. There is no can, buyer's remorse. There is no, can I get a do-over? Amen. You've been blood washed. <laughs> You've been blood bought. Amen. Can I, can I get an amen? Thank you, Brother Bowman. We are, so, matter of fact, unmute the people around Williams. I'm feeling liberal tonight. I miss you. Yeah. We hear some praise. Yeah, and others. We, I, I, we haven't come this far this much, say, through this uh, much through this much fire mm, to, be, to be a fraud. No, yeah. no, no. Right. no, 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 no. Some, right. have, some have been incarcerated. Some have been hospitalized. Some yeah. have been unemployed. Yeah, some pastor. Have Come been on. have been uh, uh, lied on. Some have been yeah. ostracized. Some yeah. people's family have, mm -hmm. have, have, have put them out, excommunicated mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Some have been divorced once. Mm -hmm. Some have been divorced twice. Some families are blended. Some families yes. are disjointed. Yes. They yeah. know there's pain. Yeah. Somebody got My hurt. Lord. Somebody got hurt in the church. Somebody well, who was yeah. betrayed. Yeah. Yeah. Stabbed in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But guess Save what? Uh, that was the fire that made us our our tips to be mm -hmm. even even sharp. I, I, Amen. I, I, Amen. 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 Somebody yeah, type in the comments. I'm sharp now. I'm sharp now. I'm sharp. I'm sharp now. I'm sharp now. I'm sharp now. Let's go. I was gold. I was gold before the fire. Okay. I couldn't. I couldn't cut through it before the fire. All right now. But 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 since I didn't have my my heart broke, since I've been betrayed, and since, uh, Amen. I've you know I've survived mm. attacks and onslaughts. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You 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 are listening to a survivor. With one thing I know, Robert E. Young. Is a soldier and a survivor of the Lord. Amen. 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 Not because of my skill, not because of my giftedness, not because my multi talent. No, it's because I've been pounded. Yes. You know? yes. <laughs> I've been hit. Yes. I've been all of that gone through the fire. Yes. But Job said, now, now don't, don't enslave me. me. I should live. Oh. Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Amen. Said, no, he slayed me. Yes. Yet yeah. will I trust yeah. him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna trust him. Yeah. I'm gonna trust him yes. all mm. the way. And, and how how did the church's story end up victorious? How did Job's story end up? The scripture says that matter of fact, it's in that last chapter of Job, I believe 42, that yeah. once once Job yeah. prayed for his friends, right. yeah. he was restored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sister Wicks, we got that better be another hour. Don't don't, don't stop him. <laughs> Amen. Well, I heard my old uncle, my old uncle said, my old uncle told me, my uncle told me, nephew. He said, nephew, I've been double tested. for his trouble. He said, I've been tested not to be messed with. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. 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 That when Job focused his prayers on intercession and All not right. on inter. In, interpersonal mm. scripture says that's when he was restored double. Yeah, mm. double. Amen. Double. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. I feel a shift in the Bible study. If you got to leave, good good night. I understand. I need somebody <laughs> to type in the comments. I need somebody to type in the comments. Double is coming. 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 Double favor. Double, Double favor, favor, favor is coming. Double anointed. Double opportunities. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Double everything. Du double doors. Double windows. <laughs> there right. you go. There you go. Double grace. Double, double healing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Double agape. Double love. Double service. Yeah. Double commitment. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not going to like this one, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. God's about to double your income. 
Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Be like yes. that. Yes. <laughs> Come on. He'll double your income so he can double your giving. Yes, he will. Right. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Double Amen. your income so Amen. he can be a great Let me do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. I think you all are prepared for Sunday. I get a sense that we're Amen. prepared for Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I just want you all to be, I know you I know you want to take that mask off and shout hallelujah. Just don't take it off. Just pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> just don't take it off. <laughs> just pull it back. I'm going to need somebody to contain me because I'm going to. I gonna, know that's right. Yeah. I hope we I'm make it through contain. service. I hope we make you, I hope you make it down the aisle. You might not even make it down the aisle the way we go crazy. Mm. Mm. I don't make it down the aisle. You know what that means? That the glory of the Lord, the cloud yes. of the Lord. All yes. Right. All right. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the scripture says that the, the house was so full. I just yeah. preached that. Yeah. Full house. Full house. Yes. Full house. Full house. The priest yeah. could not minister. Let me tell you something All right now. Right. I love preaching. I love proclamation. I love homiletics. But I am not offended if God don't let me preach. Amen. 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 I'm going to give a word. We're going to leave with a word. Greater. He'll do something else. We're going to leave with a rhema. We're going to leave with, yes. with, with, with do. We will leave with freshness. I may not do my structuralized, sermonic, uh, amen, my dialectic method, but it's going to be a word. But I, I dare not. Mm. I dare not insult. The Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Amen. 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 Come on, I'll, stop a, I'll stop a song if the Spirit is gone. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> amen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but when you've been tested and tried, you sense yeah. the mm-hmm. realness of God. Ah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The Amen. The Holy Spirit. Fill the house. Amen. Fill the house, Lord. Fill the house, Amen, Lord. Yes. Something yes. got a hold of me. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yes. Mm. And it mm. must be mm. the love mm. of Jesus. Yes. All oh, saints, and I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to keep pushing your nostalgia, but the song says something got a hold of me. I went to a meeting one night. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And my heart yeah. went right. Yeah. Something got a hold of me. Got a hold Thank you. Hold of me. And as we and as we grew, mm. as we grew in the verbiage of the kingdom, we understand that it was the Holy Spirit who yeah. drew us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Drew us. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm praying for you. I'm uh, praying for you. Reverend. I'm praying for you, Pastor. Pastor. I am. Yes. Yes. Reverend, Pastor. Cut the PowerPoint so I can see the saints with the names so I can just with sort of man that God can call these names was so that God can touch them in a special way. Sister Wiggins and the Campbell family, Distance and Spivey and Bowman and Everett and Washington and Masso and, and Good Goodrum and Harris, Malcoma. Reverend Williams, Sister Sheila, bless you, Hope's phone, Diana iPad, Deacon Miss Allen, and Deborah Williams. Excuse me if I'm missing titles. I'm just calling names boldly because God knows your name first. Come on. Amen. 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 Sister, didn't she call your daughter? Didn't Daniel preach Sunday? Didn't she preach? Yes. 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 Amen. Yes, she did. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, just to keep the, the, the Taylor family and Sister uh, Masso and Hallelujah. I, I said, okay, McCoy and Henry, Minister Henry, bless you in your business, sister. And yes. Danielle is on here. I just saw your name. Bless you. Yes, she is. Yes, yes. and, and all these numbers in it in 0181-5451. This matters. Names matter. 4823 McCoy. Sister Raven, thank you for sharing your testimony. Thank you for being the bold yeah, witness, that's... not being ashamed to tell your group that you're going through some stuff. But Amen. you are going to live through it. You're going to be victorious. Amen. 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 We see you. We thank you for your witness tonight. Lord, prepare us 
to return of just yes, a few more days. Please. Yeah. Amen. 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 Bring your worship and your praise. Yes, no, yes, yeah. no, no judgment zone. If you if you're if you're not coming back this Sunday, we love you. It's no judgment, no condemnation. Right. We're not Amen. concerned about you know your, your stand. We just pray that wherever you are, that you receive. Yes. Uh, the gift of worship Sunday morning. Yes, uh, God. So yeah. whenever you are ready to come back, when you're comfortable, when you're prayed, when you got your answer from God, we'll be there to welcome you with uh, with open elbows. But but for for us, <laughs> mm. uh, but, but, but just for uh, just for uh, 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 what is that group called? God help me. Just for for not Rehoboth, but just for remnant, the remnant. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Come on, yeah. There's there's going to be a remnant. That walk through the those those glass doors this Sunday. There's gonna be a remnant mm -hmm. that's 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 gonna to march to Zion. So, Father in Jesus' name, thank you for thank uh, you, Lord God, this, this oh. uplifting us before we go to bed. Thank you for yes, um, yes. Um, just this this booster shot of joy uh, yes. that we needed before we close this day, uh, mm -hmm. God. I don't know if this day has been productive for someone. I don't know if it's been painful for someone, but I declare that this day is over. This day is done. And what we did not accomplish today, if in your sovereign will, you permit us to see tomorrow, we'll try to get it done tomorrow. Amen. 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 So we Amen. Thank you for every grand, every great, great grandparent, every great grandparent, every grandparent, <laughs> every parent. Every every thank child. you, God. Yeah, we yeah. pray, we pray your generational Thank blessings you, on every family. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Their seed yeah. is yeah. blessed and that they know they're blessed. Yes, God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Lord Jesus. I pray, Thank God, you, that you would remind your citizens that we are peculiar people. We are royal yes. priests. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 And as yes. we fast this week, just these few days, God. Yes. Prick us, stir mm. us, yes, yes. us, yes. stir us, yes. shove us, yes. shake us, yes. and shift us. In Hallelujah, Jesus. You are wailing proud because yes. you're not yes. true. Yes. You allow the church to exist. So yes. thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Name. Thank you, Amen. 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 See you on Sunday. Amen. See you on Sunday. The church day. Amen. 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 Amen.